We're live. Who's that? Yes. We live. Okay. Hey, it's Chris and Darlene, Homestead and Hardway. And we have got into a channel collaboration with Living the Dream Homestead. And she's got me good. She's got me real good. <laughs> she has sent me a list of, you might as well say 90, Australian slang words. And I got to guess what they mean. And I'm going to go ahead and tell and you. And I hid my list. So yeah, we didn't cheat. Peak. We didn't he cheat. did not peek. Now, I know about what five of them mean. But I guess I don't give this to you to five. I know what it means, right? All right, let's get started. Number one is an ankle biter. The ankle biter here is either a little dog or a young. It's child. Okay. Well, we use it for... We, we use ankle biter, curtain climber, tricycle motor, all that means young. Or ankle biter, really, the most popular use of it is a little ankle biting dog. And young is a child, too. Yeah, young means child. Ambo, have no idea. Can't even guess. What would you think? I, I don't have a clue. Ambulance. Okay. Nice. Ambulance. Yeah. Arvo. I can't think of what Arvo would be short for. Arrival? Afternoon. Afternoon. Avo? Avocado. You never want to get it. No, that. I never would. We don't eat avocados. We don't have avocados. We do, but he doesn't like them. Big smoke. Would that be a big fire? No. That's the city. Big city. Okay. Bloke's a guy. Yes. Bludger. Is that to screw up? Kind of a lazy person. So a person just to screw up. I've heard yeah. that before. A bogging. Is that like, we, we say bogging, but it means toe bogging. No, it's an unrefined person. Am I even saying it right? Is it bogging or bogging? A booze bus. What we call a booze bus or a drunk mobile is the, uh, you buddy just got the Big SUV drives everybody around when they're drinking. This if you is, drink, we don't drink. But. This is the police vehicle that they do breathalyzers. So some. some okay, some we actually line. we've got booze buses too, don't we? Don't they call them booze well, buses? Well, all of our police have a a bottle of. Not sure what a bottle of would be. Where you buy alcoholic drinks? Well, I know they call alcohol grog. I do know that. Breaky. Breaky. Does that mean it's, uh, it's falling to pieces or breaking constantly? Or? Breakfast. Breakfast? Breakfast. A budgie smuggler. A budgie smuggler, even. I, I can't even. I, I seem like I've you heard of a budgie. this one anyway. Seems like I've heard the word budgie, but I have no idea what it would be. Speedos. Okay. Now I just thought about where hers. Speedos. We don't wear speedos. Don't Men don't wear speed. Yeah, they don't have. Cab save or cab save. A cabinet saving on. A what? Uh, cabinet saving on. Okay. Wine is that yeah. wine? If I'm wrong, give me that wrong. We got a cheat sheet. We don't need that. A cactus. Well, I know what a cactus is here, but I have no idea what a cactus is there. It means like something died, like. The bloody dishwasher's cactus. Now, how do you get broke down cactus? You want to explain <laughs> some of these. What? Chewy, I've seen that movie. I watched it a lot when I was young. I take it up when it's chewy. Yeah, it means gum. So that's pretty self explanatory yeah. then. Okay. Chin wag, does that mean you talk a whole lot? Yeah. Okay. To have a good chat. Yeah. Well, we have something to, we, we say wagging your gums or wagging your tongue or flapping your lips, kind of mean the same thing. A chucker. No idea. Can't even start to guess. It's full. Okay. Chalky. It's not anything to do with full. Well, you lost me then. 
Chalky, you'd love. Is it chocolate? Yeah. Okay, well, I probably should have got it. Chunder. Chunder, I don't know how to. Uh, think about. We have something very similar to this. Chunder, chunks. Blowing chunks. Throwing up? Yep. Okay. I got Cody. That's probably a cold beer. Yep. A dead horse. You're never going to guess this one. Empty bottle? Nope. Tomato sauce. I did. <laughs> that was like, what? Okay. Now, some of these you're going to have to explain how you get dead horse and tomato sauce to work out. Dead said, does that mean you got your mouth set to it? Yes, 100% sure. Defoe. Definitely. Okay, never would have got that in a thousand years. I might would have got it if you used it in a sentence. Devo. Right. Devoted. Devastated. Devastated. Dinkum. I've heard Dinkum, but I can't remember how it was used. But I've really, heard that word. Really, truly, honestly. Kind of like I swear. Mm -hmm. We use, we use dead set. I think we used to. I've heard some old people use dead set. Dodgy. We have dodgy. Yeah. Dodgy means you're kind of a little bit crooked. Spec, you know, uh, suspicious. Yeah, shady. Or shady. Artist. Yep. Dosh. Dosh. Have no idea. Can't even guess. Money. Mm hmm. And I'm sure I'm butchering these pronunciations. Drongo? Is it Drongo? Uh, we should have done this over a live stream. Yeah, I think it would probably work. Drongo? A fool. A what? Well, it says no hoper or a fool. No hoper. How <laughs> about that? No hoper. A dunny. That a a, a dunny is a done over here. So. Huh? A dunny is a dun horse here, so what is a dunny? No, a dunny that is a thought. I've heard that one before. Like in movies. Well, here we call Bill's duns. We forgot to put that on the paper. Uh, Esky. Mm, that probably goes to Eskimo. It's an icebox or cooler. Okay. I kind of actually see that. I can see how that would happen. Fair Dinkum. I've heard Dinkum before. We did another game. Uh-oh. We expect my memory to be that good. <laughs> what in the world was Dinkum? Dinkum was really, truly, and honestly. Oh, so okay. So fair Dinkum is... Even more than that. Fair true. Yeah. Fair salt select in the sauce bottle, would that be about drunk? Yeah, somebody has more than their fair share. Yeah. What English people call over-served, mm -hmm. what we call about tight. Yeah. Oh, that's how we'd say that is you're about tight. Flannel, is that flannel? Yep. Really? I got one right. Yes. One out of how many? 34? Um, 34 got cut off. Yeah. So that's 35. <coughs> 35's footy. That sucks? No. Football. Football. And their football would be soccer, I would think. Because we're the only ones that call football. Okay, so footy, soccer. Frothy. You know this one. A lot of froth on top of a... It's a beer. Of a beer. Okay. Full on. Full on here would be wide open. Intense or extreme experience. Yeah. Well, we'd say that wide open. Uh, good old. Now, you can look at that a couple different ways. Uh, it's not oil. It's not. Does it mean working good? Achievement. Okay. Well, we, we have some say in something similar to that. Like if we say we're cooking with grease or the oil top, that means everything's working really good. A goon. We say goon here, but it means thug. Nope. Or bad guy. Or idiot. 
What is it bring you there? Um, a cast of wine and a wine in a bag. Or say we don't have wine in bags. We have wine boxes. Yeah, we have wine in boxes. Um, well, that's kind of like the Judge Moonshine come in. The small ones are John, the big ones are, or the small ones are Demi John, and the big ones are John. So. We're talking about antiques. Yeah, they're antiques. Um, <laughs> hard yaka. It's hard work. Uh, they ain't no tell there. Hard work. Hard work, yaka. Okay. Hooroo. A hooroo. Is that like a hooray? No. Or a yahoo or a... <laughs> it's goodbye. Goodbye. Now, how in the world are you going to explain something to me? How did you get hooroo for goodbye? Or it could be an aboriginal word. It could be or something like that. Mm, I guess. Where you got some words? Like, hello, hello, goodbye. Yeah. I see pole. Could be a popsicle. Yeah. Is it really? Yes. It well. Hey, I got it, three right. She's got it written out that it's a the frozen confectionery block on a stick. So to us, that would be a, pop, a popsicle. If it would be, would that be suspect like it is here? Yeah, not quite right. Yeah, not quite right. We say if he took kangaroos loose in the top paddock. <laughs> Does that mean uh, we got to say something? Does that mean everything's going to everything's getting real bad real quick? It's a crazy place. Okay, so that's like you, that's kind of like you, you this ain't loose. quite done, you got to screw loose. Yeah. I don't have to remember round. that kangaroo's loose in the top paddock. I might can use that with my kids. <laughs> what, now King Brown? I don't have a choice. I, I don't have a clue. The foggiest notion even, I do not have what a King Brown is. Well, a long neck beer. So A long neck beer. Their beer probably comes in brown bottles. Okay. I can see that. Vegas. Goes back to the beer. Drunk? Yep. Don't give me hints. It's much fun when you get hints. <laughs> I'm Bobby's, trying to help. Is that Bobby's? Is Bobby Pops? Yes. It's a good one. You know, well, I've heard of Bobby's before. Uh, Maccas? Mm-hmm. We call it Mickey D's. I actually knew that. I actually knew that that was uh McDonald's. That was McDonald's. I'm sorry. I had actually heard that before. Move all money here. I don't yep. know what it is there. A Moz is a mosquito. Yes. Get your and paw off kind of like my table. And kind of like you may have as a mosquito. Nay, yay. Is that like yes, no, maybe? It's yes. I guess it's nah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. No, no, yeah, for sure. That's definitely. Well, we say no. And that would yeah. be no. No would be no for us. We say no and yeah, uh -huh. but we don't use it like that. Not together. No means no. Well, you might, we might say no, yeah, for sure. Uh, something worried along them lines. Right, you know, no, yes. Certain, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, no worries means no problems. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. What's the offer? A stereotypical Australian. Well, I had never heard that before. A offer. Someone with a strong accent who enjoys beer, barbecues, Aussie rules, football. Oh, they do say football. Get down, dog. Um, I V8s heard worse. and thongs. <laughs> now, what's her explanation for that one, sir? So? Oh, I know what thongs are off the head. I ain't what they are here. Um, so that'd be like calling, you know, somebody stereotypically southern as a redneck. Mm -hmm. To the rest of the country. Bear that in mind, to the rest of the country. They get you hurt down here. Yeah, they don't um, like being called a redneck if they are. Um, well, the, our definition of redneck and the North's definition of redneck is two different things. To the North, redneck just means somebody's country or whatever, Southern. You know, we never forgot the Civil War. We still turn around with Confederate flags and stuff, and they, they kind of view us as, I don't know, different. 
to us, the term redneck is uneducated, inbred white trash. So we take it to heart when they call us that. We get mad, lose your temper, act like fools. Kind of live up to the stereotype. On, on you, on you, mate. Would that be like a, it's your move or a, your turn? Mm, it's good on you, so I, I would guess we would say good for you. Well, here we say on you, you know, what do you want to do? Well, I don't know, it's on you. Yeah. Your decision. I guess that'd be a bit. Op shop. This don't would be look. me. I'd like this place. What is an op shop? It's a thrift store. Oh, okay. Just plastered me and drunk. Yes. I've got a lot of words cover being drunk. <laughs> Plunk. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Does that mean you fell down or, or no. sit down or not plunk down? We no. say plunk down. It's cheap wine. Oh, so if you drink it, you plunk down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, also known as two buck chuck. I've heard that. Two buck chuck? Yeah, I've heard two buck chuck. Pull in my or your leg. Is that uh, teasing you, telling you a story, trying to fool you? This one is actually flat out lying. Well, Wait that's, a minute, no. Down here it says that they're, we say they're having your a leg. joke. They're the same thing. Yeah, we're having a joke. We say the same thing. You know, you just put me in my leg. Somebody tells you a story or tells you something. You just put me in my leg. We say the same thing. And Pull your head in. Have no idea. Get yourself together. Okay. I like that one. Or get, we say get your head on straight. Or get your head right. The old boys used to help us on the farm. They shut up for work on Monday morning. They they say you know I, I can't get my head on straight. I can't I can't get right. I can't get right. They meant they couldn't get themselves together. Wrapped. No. Excited. Really? Yeah. Can't see it. Righto. You know this one. You've heard this one. Is that how I say right? Okay. Yeah, we say right, not right yet. Well, I don't know. There's some Yankees might say right yet. Righto. Get down, Samson. Get down, yes. Samson. Okay. Roger. Get down, Samson. Um, he knows Ripper. he's not supposed to be on the table. Ripper. Mm -hmm. No idea. Excellent. Great. Top of the range. Okay. Sanger. Sanger. Sandwich. No. Yeah. Okay, sandwich. Servo. Think about it for a minute. Service. So. Waitress? No, but it's a service station. Oh. Gas station. Oh, okay. Next one you should know. I mean, they use this in all Sheila, the yeah, that's a girl. A sicky. Does that mean sick? Yeah. They're, actually, it's more of a you call them work sick than they're actually sick. A slab. A big chunk of wood or a big chunk of beef? or big chunk of beer? It's a 24-pack of beer. <laughs> All right, well. They do a lot of drinking up there. We have slabs of wood and slabs of meat. We'll have slabs of beer. Snag. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> when we say we hit a snag or run up on a snag, it means we run into a problem. Here, it's sausage cooked on the barbie. Okay. Snooze here means a nap. What does it mean over there? Sleep. Okay. Stoke means excited. Yes. Australia, mate. Is that short for Australia friend? It's, it's Australia. But it says this is a bargain thing to say, ha ha. Well, I was thinking it was, you know, mate. We don't say mate. But mate means friend, right? Yeah, friend, pal. So I was thinking if it was translated, it'd be Australia friend. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when some people look at each other and say America. Yeah. Yeah, right there. It's truth. Uh, that looks about right. I guess. It's truth. 
I just think all the fun you're going to have laughing at us trying to figure this out. It's truth. Uh, give me truth because I have no... It's kind of like cranky. Well, I don't explanation. know what cranky means. Oh, you've seen Crocodile Dundee. Well, I mean, I've seen it in context, but it's really... Um, I'm not sure what it means. I mean, I, I get the feeling it's to replace a cuss word, you know. Probably. Um, her example is truth. All Americans think we have crocodiles everywhere. Going back to Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, everybody, everybody in America thinks all the Australians are dead. <laughs> You can't, you know, I walk outside and I get eaten by a crocodile or bit by a snake. That everything will kill you as soon as you touch it. That really, your life expectancy is about 20 minutes if you get there. And we got it all from Hollywood. Everything we know came from Hollywood. Well, <coughs> that's probably why people think so low of Southerners is because they got the redneck stereotype. Well, that's right. That's the, reason, that's the reason Southerners have such a low, uh, low reputation around the world is they get it all from the Yankees that make movies. Stubby around here means short. Well, this is a bottle of beer. A short bottle of beer. I got you. What was the other one? A tall brown? Tall browns and stubbies. One's a long neck, one's a short neck. I get that. Stuffed means full here. I'm stuffed. I have enough to eat. It's exhausted or can't be bothered. Okay. I'm stuffed means they're exhausted. Well, we, how do we say that? I'm pooped. No. Give out. It's been the same thing as I'm gonna give out. Or I've had a bait of it. Yeah. Sunny, is that sunny glasses? Yes. Uh, swag's your kit. I've heard that before. Sleeping bag. Yeah, your kit. Your effects. Your sleeping bag, your pot, your coat, your axe, your rifle, what you know, whatever it is you travel she with. She says it's a roll of sleeping bag made of canvas. With a mattress inside, kind of like a one or two man tent. Yeah, your kit. It's everything. Most of you put can it. Find. Yeah, it's like a bed roll, a bed roll, there a you bed go. roll. But everything else you have would be rolled up inside of it. Mm -hmm. okay. You lay like your other stuff in it and roll it up. I've heard that before. Tea, uh, tea around here's got sugar in it, ice, and it's what we drink all day every day. I call it dinner. Oh, like tea time. I thought tea time was at 4 o'clock. I thought it was a snack. Well, I guess they kind of took that and changed it to dinner. Uh, well, we, we didn't need to put it in ours, but, but here's breakfast, dinner, and supper. We eat supper, not dinner. Or it could be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, I just... Not here. It's not breakfast. Here, it's breakfast, dinner, and supper. Now, if you go a few hundred miles that way or that way, they might say lunch. And dinner, but it's awfully confusing. A Technicolor yawn. Now I know what Technicolor is, and I know what yawn is. Is it a really big yawn, or somebody's tea frog jacked up <laughs> <laughs> with green and <laughs> No, it's actually vomit. Okay, I can see that. Thongs and flip flops. Yes. A tinny. I'm not sure what a tinny is. I pot or can or sink. Small metal boat. Okay, small boat. I, I figured it was something like we would call a zinc, you know. Mm -hmm. Togs. I've heard of togs. Are she used to? Bathers. I... Bathers. I've heard of togs. Would that be shoes you wear like to the shower? I don't know. See, you answered, you explained what the Australian slang was with Australian slang. You know what that is, but True blue here means faithful. It's the real thing. Tucker's food. Mm -hmm. Heard that before. A uh, UE. Would that be a U turn? Yes. That's a UTE a -E or a U is a, like a Toyota truck, like them I used mm -hmm. to have, a little flatbed Toyota truck. Here, a whippersnapper is no, a. It's a whippersnipper. Whippersnipper. I don't know what a whippersnipper is. Here, it means young or, or young person, novice. Well, no, whippersnapper here is a young person. Well, we don't know. We don't have whippersnapper. Whipper is an edger or a line trimmer. Kind of like a, a weed eater. eater. A weed eater. A weed eater. A weed whacker. Okay. A whoop whoop. What, um, what is a whoop whoop? We always had to edit. We always had to try to edit. We don't edit no more. 
What is a weep weep? Being okay. in the middle of nowhere. A weep weep in the middle of nowhere. Weep weep. Oh, right, we would say BFE. Yeah, but we can't translate BFE. That's the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But we're a Christian channel, so it's like, okay, you know. Okay, just for fun, she wanted me to say. Right. Oh, yeah, that was to say it different. Yeah, nah is no. Well, that's what I was saying. We, we do the same thing. We say, we say no nah instead of nah. But it can be, no. it's voice inflection. It's, uh, yeah, no. No can mean yes or no, depending on how, really how you, uh, how you, uh, say it. All right. And she's got a note here that says for Chris to say this word emu. I don't know what she thought I was going to mess up <laughs> emu so bad for. We emu. used to raise emus around here. Not as personally. Well, my neighbor down the road around the corner did. And that's his directions. To that's everybody's directions to everywhere. Down anyway, the road and around the corner. this was really, really fun. I mean, really, really fun. We appreciate it, and uh, I can't wait to see your response to this. Thank you. I appreciate you watching. Um, Y'all have a good evening. Now. Thanks.